Welcome everyone to Learning with Rev. In this video, we are going to be learning about Keras and what models are in Keras, and we're going to start building our first uh, machine learning model. So Keras is a high-level API that allows a developer to create machine learning algorithms very easily. You can find documentation either on the TensorFlow uh, website, which, is, which it is fully integrated with, or on the Keras website. It initially started as a third-party extension for TensorFlow, and eventually Google brought it in under their own development uh, so more people could use it, and so it integrated better with TensorFlow. To begin, what is a, a Keras model? A model is an object where the neural network layers are grouped under that you can train. The model is also used for inferencing, which is where you are actually uh, making classifications with the model. And there are four steps uh, to creating a neural network model. First one is developing the model, includes getting your data and all your architecture. Then you train the model. Uh, then we will test the model. And finally, we deploy the model. So we are going to start off with the sequential model. The Keras sequential class is the most basic and straightforward way to create a neural network. In a future video, we'll be going over uh, a, another way to build models in Keras, um, and that is called the functional API, a functional model. And we are going to be building uh, our model here, creating a MNIST convolutional neural network, and we're going to do it a variation of this tutorial right here. So to begin, we have to load and pre-process our MNIST data. Uh, if you don't know what MNIST is, I have a video uh, about it and I will link it uh, in the description or up in the corner. And MNIST, for those who don't know, is a handwritten data set. So every number is written either a zero up to a nine and a value is assigned to it. We're gonna create a network that identifies what number they are. So the numbers are gonna be uh, from zero to nine, which means there'll be 10 classes. And our input shape for each image is gonna be 28 by 28 by one. The reason why it's one is because that is how many channels this image will be. So if this was a color image, it would be 28 by 28 by 3 for R, G, and B. But in our case, it's going to be 28 by 28 by 1 because it's just grayscale. Next, we are going to load the MNIST data. And we do X train, Y train. In reality, it doesn't matter what you name this. X test, Y test equals, uh, let's see, what did we already import here? We import an MNIST already. So MNIST dot load data. Again, the format of the MNIST data set I do explain in that previous video. So our X train is going to be our images 28 by 28. Uh, they come out 28 by 28. We have to add this uh, dimension here. Y train are the labels. Uh, and we are going to one hot encode them right now. If it's a five, it's going to say five. Uh, and then X test is uh, the same thing, but the test data and the Y test are the labels for it. So X train has 60,000 or the train data has 60,000 uh, items and the test data has 10,000 items. So our next step is to reshape our image data, all of our X data. So X train is going to equal X train dot AS type float 32. So we are changing it to float 32 data and dividing by 255. The reason why we're dividing by 255 is because images by default uh, in uh, standard 
uh, image format, they are going to be between 0 and 255, so 256 uh, values total. Uh, and we're going to normalize it between 0 and 255 so that all of our values will be between 0 and 1. So we're taking values between 0 and 255, divide by 255, and all of our values between 0 and 1. It makes it a lot easier for the network to learn. X test equals X test, oh, test .as type float 32 also divided by 255. Perfect. And now we want to add that extra dimension to them. So x train equals mp for numpy dot expand dims x train minus one. And same thing for x test. So these are going to change the images from 28 by 28 to 28 by 28 by one. And uh, finally here, we are going to uh, one-hot encode our labels. Y-train equals, uh, we want to Keras Utils. Uh, yep, we have two categorical here. So two categorical and Y-train and the number of classes. Same thing for Y test. Categorical Y test num classes. So we're going to run these two cells here. Run the first one, which will take a minute since it's initializing our, our notebook here. And that is complete. Make sure we didn't make any mistakes here. It's downloading that data real quick, and it has successfully run. What we can do is we can see what all this looks like. So x uh, train dot shape 60,000, 28 by 28 by 1, which is what we are expecting. And if we do uh, y train dot shape, should be 60,000 by 10. Uh, so that is how you load and pre-process MNIST data. In our next video, we'll be going over how to build the model and how to uh, show it and then how to do basic training with that model. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, share it, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.